What's up, YouTube? This is Thurber Tally from Avid Co-op, and I want to thank you for joining me here today. As always, it's a pleasure to be playing Game Feud. Today, I am going to be playing Battle Brothers. Now, this is a game I've been following for well over a year now. I started watching a couple of people play this on uh, YouTube, and there was a couple of... I mean, one of the people that I subscribe to now, I subscribed solely because he was playing this game, and he had like 40-something episodes in, and I really love this type of game. But at the time, I was like a little hesitant because it was in the early alpha, and there's a lot of things that were kind of, yeah, you know, alpha games. So, what it is is a hex-based combat game where you take control of up to 18 characters, and it's got real strong RPG elements. And you go into the countryside, and you're kind of like a hired band of mercenaries. You can either act nobly. Or you can do things like rob peasants and caravans on the road, but it does decrease the faction with the area around you. And like if you are being an ass and you're just murdering everybody, like everybody guards will come out and they'll have hunting parties to find your group and kill you. So it's a really cool game. It is quite difficult though. It is quite difficult. So we're gonna go ahead and start this. We're gonna be the battle. No, we're not gonna be the battle brothers. Ooh. Um, all right. Trinity of Blades, that's what we're going to be called. <clears throat> okay, so it's a text-based game. There's a lot of reading. So you'll have to, excuse me, I do trip over words. Ah, man, that guy's rough. You do get injured, and in one of the things I like about this game, and you'll see it, when your characters get hit, you know, it shows the injury on your character, so I think that's pretty cool. <clears throat> it all went wrong. Two days ago, the company was hired to track down Hobbit the Weasel and his band of raiders, but it was them who found you first. An ambush. Some joke about horses cut short by an arrow to the throat. Arrows shooting in from everywhere and nowhere. Men holler and scream, a grit volume before death. As the hell subsides, you draw your sword with the rest of your men, only to collapse to your knees. An arrow is punctured your side. You shout in pain. A hurry glance sees the men charge without you to make a valiant last stand. Meet in force as steel clashes with steel. You meet the eyes of the captain, a last nod before his throat is cut. You're left in command now of what few men remain. Trembling in pain, you lean on your sword and with all the will you can muster slowly rise again. Alright, so you know first bit of combat, so it's very scripted. Now I will say you're gonna you're gonna die. You're gonna have a lot of people die. Don't get too attached to the characters if they die. And, uh, because they're going to. Like, these are your main characters, though. When they die, it does hurt. But the other characters, until you build them up, you will, you will die. So, getting attached to a character is highly, is, is ill-advised. Um, we're gonna go ahead and spear wall here. And in his turn. I'm gonna let these guys, and I learned, let the guys close the distance because you, I'll show you here shortly, where you have this, uh, oh, I gotta move him out of the way. Oh, uh, he might get it. I should have moved him down. Okay, so, I move him here. He attacked, uh, like an attack of opportunity. Now, you see this? You have action points. Whenever you move, you utilize action points. So, we're gonna go ahead and split man on this guy, and that went ahead and that didn't work, so. Uh, this guy is at point blank range, 60%. Got a nice little hit off there. Okay, good to go. And I can't do anything. It seems that I can't even switch weapons. And I believe if I try to move, he's going to get an attack of opportunity. But I think I need to get him out of there anyways because he just has a bow. Good, he missed his attack. So I'm going to move this guy back again as far as I can. And him. We're going to go ahead and move him up here. And he's not in spare wall anymore. We're going to go ahead Joust this guy in the chest. And yeah, that's it. Alright. Ooh, now you see how my guy got injured? So he's uh yeah, he's hurting in a bad way. Oh, he's got one health left. That is unfortunate. Oh, beheaded. Nice. Nicely done, sir. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get off a stab on this guy. And can we get another stab off on this guy? Good to go. Alright, battle is over. The enemy was destroyed in three rounds. We're going to go ahead and loot these guys up. <clears throat> uh, we've got a pickaxe, a hatchet, and a wooden shield. So we're going to go ahead and loot that up. 
All right, so after every battle, the game is paused. You're alive. You won. The adrenaline fade and it, the adrenaline fade and its weight, you can't help but sink back to the ground. It looks like you won't be holding your sword again anytime soon. Gritting your teeth, you snap the arrow shaft. Your chest heaves for breath, feeling the pain well up every uh, well up in your very lungs. Most of the company lies dead. All the men who fought with side by side in the shield wall this past year. And Hogger did justice to his name, running like the weasel people mock him to be. What now? A voice from behind. It's Volmar the Night Slayer who sits down beside you, betting his bloody axe between his legs. You turn to him to reply before turn to him to reply, but before you can answer he continues. The captain's dead. They slit his throat. He was a good man and a damn good leader. But all it took was one mistake. That mistake's the one that makes you in charge now, don't it? Torvald the Quick joins the two of you, still breathing heavily. Let's save the anointments for another day. I figured we'd give them give the men a good burial and return the stole and collect our pay. The weasel's men are slain after all, even if the man himself turned if the, even if the man himself tucked tail and ran. We all see that arrow sticking out of you before we lose another man. I'm gonna try to give guys voices because it's just fun. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go back to stole. <laughs> And try to gra the graphically, this game is beautiful. I love the, how the countryside looks and all this stuff. It's a really, really, really good game. <clears throat> the Return of Stoll. Uh, what a sorry display it must be for the onlookers as you arrive in Stoll. Um, four of us? I thought it was okay. Four bloodied and beaten mercenaries down on their luck. The man who's hired you, a couple, man who hired you, a couple, the company days ago, Volkmar, the guildmaster. No doubt expects you to return in a more glorious fashion. Still, he welcomes you to his house again and offers you bread, wine, while a servant fetches a healer. A few, wor few words are exchanged, except for the occasional grunt and wheeze as an elderly man with shaky hands tends your room. Finally, Volmar the guildmaster breaks the silence. So, how did you fare? A pen knifes through your skin, the first of many stitches to come. You grit your teeth till you think you hear one break. Volmar, the guildmaster, takes one grave look and quickly hides his face behind a drink of wine. Fighting breath, you give an answer to his asinine question. We killed all Hogger's men, but he managed to elude our blades in the end. The healer waves around the, the healer waves around a glowing fire poker. Oh gosh, no. Suggests he wants to push it into your wound. Yeah, okay, yeah, screw that. You nod and he does so. For a moment, that's all there is. You're not a man, but a piece of fire flesh from flame. The pain subsides. You see the Volmar, the Guildmaster mood, has lightened. So, all those men are dead then. Well, that's that. I see. But good thing you removed that threat from Stoll. But the man truly is elusive. We expect to get paid for this. Volmar, the Guildmaster gasps. Well, naturally, I'd give my word, didn't I? A hundred crowns for every man. So, as I see it, that's four hundred crowns for the four of you. He gestures towards a servant who nods. <clears throat> hands him a wooden chest from which you take the pay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wonder, may I take use of your service one more time? I'd very much like to end the headache that has hogged the weasel once and for all. And I will pay you again, of course. Another 400 crowns, shall we say? Volmar, King, Volmar Night Slayer scoffs and turns to drink more wine, but Torvard the Quick stands to speak. Yes, the company is in ruins, but we can rebuild it. You know Volmar the King Slayer, he drank crowns away and ended up being on the streets. And Sigbald wouldn't fare better than chasing the women folk until one stove his rotten head in. We need a trinity of blades, that's all we have. What say you, Captain? Volgar and Night Slayer burps and raises his cup to you. Sigbold playfully thumbs his nose and nods. You're the captain now, and your men look to you for leadership. Yes, we have unfinished business with Hunter. <clears throat> Volgar and Gear Master claps his hands in satisfaction. Very good, excellent. I need time to find out where Hoggart is hiding now. In the meantime, I suggest you see about stocking up on some supplies, so that you'll be good and ready in the end when the time comes. I shall see you in a few days. Till that time, uh... I shall see you in a few days. Time at the latest. As you leave the comforts of Volkmar Gear Master's house and stand at the outskirts of Stoll, again, Tovard the Quicks seeks a word with you. What is it we need is more men, Captain. 
I know I gave a big speech back there, but we ain't nothing much more warm bodies in the Reichs. We should hire at least three more sword hands, put them some decent weapons and dress them in the best armor we can afford. A man pauses. <coughs> the man pauses and glances around. <coughs> I bet this Bodong town's got a desperate present or two for new life. Or we could travel to Kirkland in the northwest. Them city folks are always a hardy as these country bumpkins. But we're likely to find men with fighting expertise stopping to rest there. And they sell better weapons too. That's what she'll that's what we shall do. Okay, so I've got to go up here it tells you what you gotta do so that you don't lose track of your quest. So <clears throat> I'm gonna take a look here and see if they have anybody worth a damn. And uh okay, so in, in the town, this is the town feature. You have the temple. You can go to the temple to seek healing. This is the marketplace. Click on the marketplace. This is exactly what you think it is. Click on this right here and I'll show you your men. I'm gonna make sure all my men have um I wanna click equip you with that. And he has a crossbow. The crossbow is really powerful, but it's kind of sucks because you only get one shot. So Alright. I'm gonna go back here and let's see. They have anything worthwhile? They do not do I what is lightning and tuning and tuning? Sackcloth, thick tuning. So what you wanna do, you wanna make sure your men are all outfitted and you wanna make sure they all have helmets. One hit in the head. Headshots are critical shots, and you see that guy beheaded. He didn't have a hat on, so we're gonna go ahead and pick up uh, straw hat. We're gonna go ahead and pick up this just because, and we're gonna go ahead and equip that on our dude with no oh, sick bulb. This is Volkmar. This is Torben. All right, <laughs> so. Check see what men they have. Bernard the Brave. Oh, he doesn't look too bad. Uh, taking him a little orphanage. It wasn't long for Bernard to start taking abuse from the lower orphan. What is this? His background is a thief. He has a high melee defense, high range defense, and a high initiative. He costs 300 and he's 11 days. Now, you have to pay your men every day. Um, you have funds, and you spend your funds as you play the game. And every day, in game day you lose gold so you have to make sure that you're doing quests and you're accomplishing things or selling stuff um, you can do trade in this game it does work um, no this one I want to do I've seen other youtubers do it <clears throat> and they trade I'm gonna go ahead and hire him and let's see this guy this these will let you know a little bit about what they do like their starting attributes and stuff so there's a fisher this guy is a Vagabond, he has a high max fatigue. Um, <clears throat> let me fork the road. <clears throat> okay, so he travels the road. We're going to go ahead and leave him. We're going to go ahead and go check out our new guy here. Alright, so he has a dagger. We're going to... Let's give him a shield too. So he now has a dagger and a shield. We have this axe, and oh, I wanted to sell that pickaxe. But I'm going to sell it in the other town. So we're going to go ahead and leave town, leave, and then we're going to travel the road. Now, I could travel across the grass and areas like this. You see how I slowed down when I went through there? Now, if I go back to the road, in the road, you travel much faster. Like, terrain actually slows you down. So if you're traveling through a heavy forest area, you're going to travel slower. If you're traveling through a swamp, you're going to travel even slower. So. There's a trading and the map is active. You see things going on as they happen. You'll see bandits going on the road, people going on patrol, animals coming out of the woods, and like bandits and stuff. You can actually click on those and engage in those. The silhouette of Kirkland appears on the horizon. Sigbolt seeks a word with you. <clears throat> Never been to Kirkland before myself, but I've been around. These big cities are expensive, much more than Stoll and other villages like it. But the merchants have everything we need weapons, armor, food. In the Smithy and Kirkland, it's worth a visit too. It would be expensive for sure, but they sell real weapons made for war, not just farming tools. We could also browse the on the marketplace, of course. There's a few bargains to be made. They also try to sell us stuff that wouldn't break. It wouldn't break you so much as you'd sneeze on it. Don't get swindled by them cutthroat merchants, Captain. 
Volmo the Night Slayer seems fit to add his own opinion to what you should do. If there's a good tavern, I say that's where we head first. Pay around for the company's coffers to get all to get all of us drunk for the night and raise our spirits. Gods know we earned it. Sigball shakes his head. You say that every time we stop in town. Even when we ain't done anything. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and I apologize for the whole read. I'm like leaning forward because it's really small on my screen so it's kind of hard to read. So, <clears throat> I will go to the tavern and do this. And, uh, okay, this here, you can pay and you'll get little snippets and they'll tell you, they can tell you where treasure is, um, like really good weapons, where people are hiding, um, just by buying the buying the bar out, I guess. So we got our man a drink, and um, there we go. Now he's drunk, and we raised our spirits. Okay, so we've got the temple here. Like I said, you can go pray tavern. Um, barber, you can change what your men look like. Um, there is not a. Okay, so we're gonna hire. Let's see, Otto. Oh my God, Harmut. Okay, Otto. He is a militia, really. On the member of the peasantry, Otto was willing to join the militia and protect his home. His weapons are more rusted, and his armor not exists. Fortunately, enemies are not so kindly under equipped. When a lord sent his entire militia to escort, certain, uh, sent his, when a lord sent his entire militia to almost certain doom, Otto realized he had better seek something else better if he wanted to live. He took his modest skill set to the field of mercenary. Okay, so Otto, he seems like he might have some pretty good skill set. Man hides his face in the decal. Uh, okay. I have no idea what that is. He, mm, he's a cultist. Walter. Oh, jeez. Okay, so this guy's good. He, he's really good. You see, and you can tell by the guy. Because they'll have a really, really expensive cost, and they'll cost a whole lot more than the other people. He's a fisherman. He's a preacher. He has a high resolve and lower max was he. Torval and another Torval. Okay, so he's good too. Alright, so let's see. I think I'm going to pick up Otto. And I got to pick up one more guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we'll go ahead and get, uh, uh, wow, what is this guy? I will go ahead and get him. He gains experience points fast. So we got, so there, we got a couple of guys. <laughs> so now to get them outfitted. And now I gotta be kind of, uh, cautious because... I um I'm gonna get rid of that. Actually, let me see what their skill sets are. So this is what you gotta do when you get a guy. You gotta check them to see what their skill sets. Are. So this is, Otto is really good at melee. Oh, Otto is really good at melee. Okay, this is he is not so good at anything defense. So we need to give him a shield and a spear. And I need to get another guy. I need to get another range guy. So that's what I'm gonna be on the lookout for. Otto is pretty good at range shield. He's too good at um melee to uh you know what I may want to give Otto a let's go ahead and give him a hatchet. Go ahead, I'll give the I like the hatchet better. So and we'll give him mace. I need to pick up a shield. These guys are all wearing armor shield. Everybody got a hat everybody got a hat on? Okay, so we need to pick up shield. I'm gonna go ahead and leave here, go back in here and uh, shield, 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 shield. This is damn durability. I'm looking at the durability of these, so. Uh, oh. Padded leather. Padded leather. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and equip these guys in a little bit better armor, so we're gonna go ahead and pick that up. I'm gonna pick up both these padded leathers, because they're really, really good. And a gamison. Oh. Uh, um. How much is that? My funds are getting low. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have to pass on the gamson. And I already have a contract, so I can't do anything. Alright, so he is definitely gonna get one of these. And 
we're gonna go here and give him definitely because he's gonna be my front liners. So he's gonna put that on. No, take that off. Put that on. Um, we're gonna go ahead and give him that. We're gonna get rid of these patchwork sack clothing. This is padded. Um, eh, we'll put that on. And then, oh, I need to give the shield to him. Oh, that's what I gotta do. Okay, I do gotta go back in town. I'm gonna go ahead and sell those other two. No, not leave. Come on, time. You're messing up. Okay, marketplace. We'll go back to the marketplace. I want to pick up a Jesus. These spears are expensive. Okay, sell that. Sell that. Pick up a spear. I see how much I'm paying out a day. Okay, you pay out 62. Uh, Okay, so this will last me for 10 days. So, you know what? Okay, we're good. We're good. The longer I sit here, the more um, I feel I'm going to do something in error. So, we're going to go ahead and give this guy a... Where did he go? Which one is it? Him? Yeah. We're going to go ahead and give him a spear. Alright, so. Leave. Now we've done that. We gotta go return back to Stoll. So the first part of this is not a whole lot of excitement and action and everything going on, but it's just getting you familiar with the game and all that. So <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and head back down to Stoll and talk to the Guildmaster again. Like I said, this game is a really relaxing kind of chill game. You can play it at your pace. You don't have to hurry and rush, and it's it's it's, it's relaxing. I, I don't know. I hate playing games that you have a time limit to do stuff. Like I understand like certain quests, it's fine, like every now and again you gotta do something before this happens and you got you know X amount of time. Okay. <clears throat> Four more of the gear master awaits you patiently, pacing back and forth as you put down your bag in muddy boots. Finally you're here. Good news. You got a hold of one of Hoggett's former men. The healer, the healer who damn near killed you with the fire poker standing nearby. He's picking chunks of dry blood off his fingernails. <clears throat> Four more of the guild master lasts. We had a nice little talk with the man, and I know where Hoggett is, licking his wounds. I'm eager to rid myself of that man once and for all. Give him a waiting look, and then ask, Well, where is he? Volmore the Guildmaster straightens up as though excitement has lost on him. Excitement has lost him a fair bit of composure. Alright. Oh, right. He's hiding out in some small hut in the steps in the northeast of here. I'll mark it on your map. Apparently, they managed to gather more men in a short time since your battle. I suspect he knows the Trinity of Blades is on his hill like a bunch of bloodhounds. Good luck. We'll return with his head. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. My name is Third Battalion. Thank you for joining me in the first episode of Brotherhood. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.